This question we will solve by using constraint maximization using Lagrange multiplier so that rectangular solid of maximum volume that can be inscribed in a sphere is a cube. Suppose you are given a sphere and inside the sphere you are given a rectangular volume and that rectangular volume is equal to a sphere in that, in that will be a cube you have to prove it cube means x value will be equal to y value will be equal to z value we have to prove that x equal to y equal to z if you have a sphere then the equation for the uh, for the sphere is given by x square plus y square plus z square is equal to r square so this is the constraint or condition given and you have you have a volume element that is v equal to volume generally we know multiplied by length breadth and height here if you take the origin and on both side of the origin if you have x then the total length along x is 2x similarly along y 2y and along z 2z so the volume will be equal to 2x 2y 2z and this is the objective function this is the object inside the sphere so the volume will be equal to 8x y z and this is the constraint or condition given that means you have you have given a sphere and inside the sphere you have a uh, you have a rectangular volume element and the volume element you have to prove that it is a cube so now from lagrange's constraint maximization technique we know the function f x y z is equal to f x y z plus lambda phi x y z here this function is called the objective function and here the object is your uh, cube that is 8 x y z and lambda is your Lagrange multiplier and the condition or constraint is phi x y z which is given phi x x square plus y square plus z square minus r square this is for the volume of the sphere. As discussed in the previous video to find the constraint maximization you have to take the partial derivative that is del f with respect to x is equal to 0. So if you take the partial derivative of this equation with respect to x, this value will be equal to 8yz plus lambda and partial derivative of x square is equal to 2x. So lambda 2 uh, lambda 2x if you take this to the right hand side uh, RHS that will be equal to minus 8yz. So 2 lambda x square if you multiply x on both the sides it will be equal to 2 lambda x square. So 2 lambda x square will be equal to minus, minus 8xyz. Suppose this is equation number 1. Similarly you have to find out the partial derivative of f with respect to y that is equal to 0. If you take the partial derivative of 8xyz it will be equal to 8xz plus lambda and partial derivative of y square will be equal to 2y so lambda 2y will be equal to minus 8xz and if you multiply y on both the sides it will be equal to 2 lambda y square is equal to minus 8xyz this is equation number 2 and if you take the partial derivative of f with respect to z is equal to 0 and what is the partial derivative of this equation with respect to z? This will be equal to uh, 8xy and uh, for this uh, lambda into 2z. So, so 8xy plus lambda 2z will be equal to 0. If you multiply z on both the sides, this will be equal to uh, 2 lambda to z square. That will be equal to if you take 8xy to the right hand side 
it will be equal to minus 8xyz and this is equation number 3. And you see in the left hand side of equation 1, 2 and 3, the left hand side value is same, sorry right hand side value is same, minus 8xyz, minus 8xyz, minus 8xyz. So 2 lambda x square is equal to 2 lambda y square that is equal to 2 lambda z square. So 2 lambda, if 2 lambda x square is equal to 2 lambda y square is equal to 2 lambda z square, then x square will be equal to y square is equal to z square or x equal to y equal to z. Therefore, the rectangular solid is a cube inside the sphere. In this way, you can find out uh, how constant maximization can be used by using Lagrange multiplier technique. Thank you.